Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter. Welcome to the Tennis Now News Update. The Australian Open begins on Monday and anticipation and odds is buzzing after Friday's draw ceremony. The draw offers a varied degree of difficulty for tennis's top stars. Top ranked Novak Djokovic and three time runner up Andy Murray will both face qualifiers in the first round. Defending champion Stan Wawrinka, who was on hand for the draw ceremony, could have an easy first week as well. To, to finish as the winner, it gives me the confidence and in, in puts me in the semi-final uh, there. And uh, my game was there physically, I was feeling great. Djokovic may have to deal with big servers John Isner and Milos Raonic in his quarter before a potential blockbuster rematch with Wawrinka in the top half semi-finals. Second seeded Roger Federer, third seeded Rafa Nadal, Murray, and former semifinalist Tomas Burdic are all in the bottom half of the men's draw. Nadal opens against crafty veteran Mikhail Yuzny a decade after the Russian pushed Nadal to five sets in the Australian Open second round. Rafa could face Czech Lukas Rossal, who shocked Nadal at Wimbledon in 2013. If the seeds hold true, Federer could meet Murray in the quarterfinals, followed by a semifinal meeting with Nadal, which would be a rematch of the 2014 semifinals. The top quarter of the women's draw boasts a first-rate field. World number one Serena Williams heads a loaded section that features former number ones Yelena Yankovic, Victoria Azarenka, and Caroline Wozniacki. Two women who beat Williams in Grand Slams last year, Garbine Muguruza and Elisa Cornet, are also in this quarter presenting a challenging path for the top seed's quest for a sixth Australian Open crown. In the bottom half of the women's field, second-ranked Maria Sharapova and former finalist Anna Ivanovic both meet qualifiers in their first-round matches. Sharapova is on course for a potential quarterfinal with Canada's Eugenie Bouchard, in what would be a match of the glamorous power players. Third-ranked Simona Halep could be tested by Karen Knapp in round one. The marquee match of the women's first round pits two-time former champion Victoria Azarenka against American Sloan Stevens for the third straight year in Melbourne. Tennis can be a contact sport when these two ladies share the court. Remember when Sloan and Vika traded body blows in Australia last year? Pelt straight at her. That came a year after their controversial semi final when Vika squandered five match points, then took a 10 minute medical timeout before Sloan served. If you ever wondered what life is like inside Rafa Nadal's head, well, now you've got a glimpse. Rafa warmed for Melbourne, sitting down for an exclusive interview with himself. Check out Rafa interviewing Rafa in a new commercial for Babolat Play Aero Pro Drive Racket. At the end, the most important thing is be happy, enjoy the competition, and I'm sure with this new racket and new technology, I will enjoy a lot. Do you think you are better than me now? No, just smarter. U.S. Open champion Serena Williams showed fans that she is still master of the bounce. The world number one hit the Melbourne Mall stage like a pop star wearing her underwear in a promotional appearance for the Australian bra company Burley. Thank you so much. It's been five years since Serena won the Australian Open, but the five-time champion showed fast feet practicing on an empty Rod Laver Arena court earlier this week. Roger Federer can't walk on water, but he can play some exciting tennis while riding the waves at high speeds. Watch Roger and Leighton Hewitt take tennis to mission impossible levels with this high octane rally across Sydney Harbour to promote their Sydney exhibition. Good luck, mate. You win. Right. I win. I um, win. I'll take a silver boat, the big one. So I got the little baby boat. Yeah. Later, Federer faced off against a potential future Aussie champion with a championship pedigree. Cruz Hewitt, the six-year-old son of former number one Leighton Hewitt, hit with Roger before his dad's exhibition in Sydney. And judging by his strokes, the little guy has a big future ahead. Looks like the Federer-Hewitt rivalry is already shaping up with a sequel, huh? That's all for today's Tennis Now News Update. 
Check out our Tennis Now magazine's Australian Open preview, including features on Rafa, Serena, and Leighton, and predictions on the top players. And get in the game and make your Australian Open picks. Sign up for Tennis Channel's Racket Bracket, where you can make your Aussie Open picks to play for a $1,000 gift package from Tennis Express and Wilson.